Hello everybody and welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. Today we are restarting our Red Deer grind, but we're going to start it on Te Aoroa and I'm going to pretty much just put in highlights of uh, trophies we shoot along the way. Right now I'm just finding all my zones and establishing kind of my route. So I'm going to get a shot into this guy, but you guys will be just hopefully watching some really cool stuff and some really good trophies that I'm going to find while I am hunting. All right, our red deer floated in. He's a nice, oh yeah, silver, because we're using the 300. He's got that really cool looking set of antlers. But yeah, so I guess uh, that's about it. When we get to spawning a great one, I'm gonna use the muzzle loader, I think. Um, but otherwise, you guys just enjoy the video and I will talk to you next time. Way out there across the way, we have a level nine red deer and I think that's actually a guaranteed diamond, so. I'm not going to wait around, he's broadside and I have AD uh, 308. I'm going to go ahead and just put a shot in there, that should be a good hit on him. And there he goes, he's dropping, looks like we got him down. I mean he didn't drop yet, but any moment he's just going to hit the dirt. Alright, let's go pick him up. And if you're wondering why I shot the level 9 instead of doing herd management, herd management I will be doing that, except um, this is not going to be one of my main hunted spots, so I decided to shoot it for now to try and get these all down to uh, level 1s. Or not 1s, 3s and 4s. But nonetheless, here he is. I don't know, he looks like, I think he was a guaranteed diamond, so he is a diamond at 266. That's a big diamond, isn't it? I forget how big they get, but I think that's a really nice one. 266.3. I do know they get into the 270s, but let's tax that. And uh, yeah, really awesome. Good lung shot at 289 meters with the 308. Love it. Right there, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe is a melanistic red deer. I think that should be a good hit. Yeah, it looks like it. And actually, I didn't get a good look with that lighting. Did it, does it look like he's melanistic? I really can't tell. Yeah, it looks like he might be, but nonetheless, he's down. So oh, can't get up. Let's go. Uh, let's go find out. And I guess if it, if he's not, at least it was a deer that I wanted to get down. Sure looks melanistic from here. I'm gonna go ahead and have to say that. Yep, that is a melanistic red deer. I don't know if we got one of those yet or not, but we do now. And did we get that in there? Nice. Yeah, it was close, but we did get it. And that's what's important. Some weird stuff going on there. Nonetheless, we got a level 5, nothing big, silver melanistic red deer. I'm gonna tax that, and he'll be going in the lodge. We have ourselves a piebald red deer stag out here at 200 meters. I'm gonna just go ahead and take the shot while I have it. Let my heart calm down a little, and then get that in there a little high on purpose. And that looks like I got him really good. Is there anybody else I could. Is that? I almost thought that was a rare female. Might as well get another one down. That might be... Nope, that's a heart shot. Alright, let's go get our, uh, mil our pi bleh, piebald red deer. And our piebald deer is laying right there. He's a level 6, so he should make... Or he might make gold. Not should. I don't think he's gonna with that antler set, though. No, he's a silver at 164. But we got a perfect double lung shot, and he's a really pretty looking one. Definitely gonna tax him, and uh, he'll end up going in the in the lodge. And all these I should mention are also gonna go into the grind lodge, not the regular lodge, at least for now. And then here's our other guy. Oops, missed him. Another level six, also small, low heart shot. Almost missed it actually. All the way out there, plain as day as you can see, is a melanistic red deer. That's a level six with a chance at gold. Um, then there's a couple sevens, so I guess we'll get him and then as many of the others as we can, but we gotta wait for him to turn around for us. And, uh, how far are they again? 250, so we'll get a little closer. I might actually just go for the shot on a different one, and then take him with a follow-up. As long as I know roughly how far, and like I said, about 230, so I'll just aim high. But let's shoot this guy, let's shoot this one as broadside. And then he should turn, and he's down, and that one's hit. Does he hit well? Yeah, we got three of them. Wow, 
it was actually some pretty good shooting for me. <laughs> so he's gonna go down. Let's see, insight right there. Okay, we got our melanistic down, and uh, that's our second one. And these are all initial spawns because I haven't, uh, I haven't actually done like the grind yet. I mean, I've been shooting them, but I haven't made a, my way back around through. So this is just everything I've found while looking for zones. Okay, our deer are laying all right here, and then that one off to the side. But our melanistic is silver again at 168. Oh, you know what I just noticed too? Unless this is old news, the estimates now um, don't tell you exactly what rares are going to be. And then, but also, I forget, was that the same score as the other one? The piebald? But nonetheless, there's another melanistic red deer. So I'm going to tax him. And then I'm going to pick up these guys and continue finding the rest of my zones. Maybe, I mean, we found a lot of cool stuff already, but maybe we find some more stuff. All right, we're back in our grind lodge. It's been quite a while since we've been in here. But for starters, we moved our old biggest diamond, because this is actually our biggest diamond red deer yet, um, and put him up there because in the future we're going to need to put a, our biggest diamond moose in here from our grind. And uh, maybe whatever else in the future comes in as a great one, we'll have to go up there. But then I put, um, oh, and he was 266.5. I put that other one back in here now, which is 265 even. And then I put our rares all up here, the two melanistics looking into the middle, and then a piebald kind of looking there off to the left. And then whatever else we get, um, either another piebald or a, I guess another melanistic would be fine too, we'll go right there. And probably a moose in the middle, but... Nonetheless, I'd say a pretty good way to start the uh, initial spawn of the of the red deer grind again. So we'll get it all set up. If you don't find grind videos very interesting, uh, fear not. These aren't going to be like a constant occurrence like they may have been in the past. Just once in a while when I have enough trophies and clips of trophies saved up, I'll make a video out of it. And of course, if we get a great one to spawn. Nonetheless, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you enjoyed this video, check out this other one from when I was previously grinding Red Deer on Quattro Kalinas.